Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, darling. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, guys, but I just want to share with you. I just got uh, my new oil from 1617.com, and this is my favorite one from the first three uh, fragrance oils that they have released uh, to the market, Kaya 23. So today, I'm going to be following Vanessa's uh, recipe that she, had, that she put on her uh, YouTube channel for making a double wick soy candle, okay? So I'm going to be using soy bliss wax, uh, this, for the people that uh, don't have uh, the LCS Wick series, I'm going to be trying CDN. I'm going to be double wicking uh, this candle. She recommends to use two wicks, two CDN threes. For the Evermore vessel, this is the one uh, that they sell at 1617.com. It comes in, on different colors and this one holds a lot of wax, guys. This is going to be holding like, holding 11.7 ounces of wax, okay? So, I'm going to be making this. I'm going to be using and um, 10% fragrance load for this uh, for this candle. And yeah, so let's see how it goes. So let me just gather all the ingredients. I'm gonna take you guys to the candle bar and let's start uh, making the candle. Yes! Okay, so guys, for those of you, uh, I have in here, I ordered some wick replacers. I got it also from 1617.com. Uh, this is comes like this. So I need to find the one that has for the double wick for the Evermore. I need the double one. I think this one fits. Okay, so this one is perfect. This is the, the wick holder. This has in here space for the two different wicks. And then it comes with also, I think this, and this is the one that you use for the, uh, to place the wick. So you don't have to, you know, this is gonna place them perfectly. And then you put this on top to hold the wicks in place. Okay, so this is great combination, guys. I'm telling you, I love 1617. It's, uh, it's kind of pricey. But you know, you get what you pay for, darling. Yes. Okay, so let me just get some alcohol. Let me just clean the vessel. Pepe towel. Okay. The reason you want to clean this is because sometimes when it comes from the manufacturing place, it has like residue, you know, some kind of a uh, dust or any kind of a, uh, you know, you just want to make sure that you, are, uh, you have everything very clean. So the other uh, wicks will adhere very well to the, to the vessel. We don't want to have any surprises after we, you know, uh, pour the wax, it's gonna be all like, they get detached because then you have to start all over again and we don't want that, you know? Time is money, so we have to make sure that we are very efficient, okay? Perfecto. Guys, if you go to the, to the website, 1617.com, you're gonna find all these uh, items for sale. You can buy them. I have my candle working. Candle making work, you guys. Okay, so today's date is the 18th. Wow, September 18, wow. Wax type, soy bliss. I think the, it already came back also for the uh, on the market. Okay, so the amount, I'm gonna be following her recipe, so let me get it. I got this recipe from the blog, 1617.com, which I'm also gonna link below. Okay. The fragrance is gonna be Calle 23. Uh, it's going to be 1.3 ounces for 10% fragrance load. Okay. Now for wax, it's going to be 11.7 ounces of wax. Perfect, okay? So let me just, the wig is gonna be CDN3, which is the one she's using on, on the video, so I'm gonna trust that, that works, so. Okay, okay, perfect, so let me just get. This also they sell it, I think, uh, 1617.com. So guys, I haven't made a candle in, in, in a while because I'm so concentrated on my formulations, you know? And uh, But I, I figured, let me just give you something because on tomorrow's uh, live stream, I'm gonna talk about this, you know? So that's why I wanna make a candle now, so I can show you. For those of you that don't have the LCS week series, I'm gonna try this, uh, the CDN series, you know? So that will give you a different option. I know that for this, I use the LCS uh, 90, between 90, 95, or 100, you can use it. You have to test the three of them because depending on the fragrance, on the fragrance oil that you're gonna be using, you can use either uh, one of the three of them. I was able to use um, the LCS 100 for my black gardenia, and it's it worked like a charm. It burned beautifully all the way down. You know, it's so big, uh, big wick for this size of candle. This is three, uh, 3.75 um, diameter. So, you know, you need a big candle for that. I mean, a big wick for that in order to generate the heat to get for you uh, an even uh, melt pool. Okay, so this is very easy. Right, just 
Look at the whole thing there and then just place them. You see? Perfect. So you have perfect placement. Of course, it will help if I take out the backing, if I take out the tape <laughs> from the back. So this is my first blooper, guys, and I'm gonna leave it on the tape because I'm not gonna edit this out. I think in, in this makes it fun, you know? When you messed up, you know, why not show it, you know? Yes. Because I share the good and the bad. Let's do this again. Just place it in here. Okay. I just use a plastic straw, guys, and I just put the wick in here. These wicks are very uh, flimsy, so you have to, Okay, and then I have to cut the backing on the tape. So now I just put it on the other side. So this is going to ensure that this is, you have perfect placement, guys. Look at all these, these two, you see? And then you just take it out, just comes right out. And then you have the perfect place, double wigs. And then I like to take like a piece of metal or something, a piece of wood, and just make sure that you uh, press firmly to make sure that you have full contact with the, uh, with the glass. So that will ensure that it will not come out. Okay. Now I just put this and put it in, in the center in here. And then I just secure the, the wicks. Okay. This is so easy guys and so Okay, this is what I call perfection. You see? This is not gonna move anywhere. And that's how you make, that's how you make the perfect candle. Yes! So, so let me put this to the side. Okay. I need that scale. Okay, so let me just put this in here. To use it again. Okay, so let me just measure up the, I can have oil. Let me use this container. Let me just bring you guys down again. Let me just get the, the board. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys, this is heavy duty glass. Okay, so I need 1.3 ounces of, so this is what I do guys. If I don't have a pipette, I just, in order for you not to get, spill the, the oil, you take any, any kind, anything, uh, you can use a glue stick or a, a wooden stick or anything. The secret is just touch the mouth in here or the bottle and just put it in there on the side. And look, it, it doesn't drip anywhere. It just goes right to the bottom. So I need 1.3. Perfect. Oh, this candle is going to be on my line for sure. And like I told you on the previous video, guys, this fragrance oil, they don't need anything else. They are so sophisticated that if you add, if you combine it with something else, you're gonna mess it up. So that's the beauty of this. Uh, when you get high-end fragrance oils, you don't need to play with the um, with the ratios or anything. Just do, you know, it's okay. So now let's go outside. Let's turn on the uh, the pressure pot and let's start cooking the wax. Okay? Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's bring back. Okay. I'm so excited, guys, that I'm making a candle with you again. And guys, I'm waiting for a shipment from uh, West West Sound Candle Supply. I ordered this almost two weeks ago and I haven't gotten uh, the oils. I ordered like nine more of these. So I'm gonna wait for the other oils to come in because I want to do a review of Jess Stanley's new company, West Sound Candle Supply, uh, the fragrance oils, okay? So I don't wanna do one and then just do another one uh, you know, like a week after. So I wanna, I just wanna do everything at once. So here we have the Kali 23, my, my favorite oil. And they're releasing three more. I saw, I saw on, on today's video. So for all of you guys that don't have the LCS series, I'm using CDN3. I'm double wicking CDN3 uh, for this uh, candle. You know, so let me just bring the light over here so you can see better. Is that better? Yes, yeah, looking snatch. Okay, so I'm having human notes. So I need 11 points, 
11.7 ounces of uh, wax. And again, I'm using soy bliss, which is my favorite wax, guys. So for this type of uh, vessel, I will, I will be using this. So for this vessel, I'll be using one LCS 100. Works great. Again, you have to either try uh, the LCS 100, uh, the 95, or the 90 to see which one burns better. Uh, if you don't want to double wick uh, the candle, in this case, I'm gonna be using a double wick uh, with two CDN threes, okay? So let's see how that works. And I'm gonna be testing this uh, full until, until the bottom because I wanna make sure how this double wicking uh, behaves. Because who knows, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I like to use the CDN better than the LCS series. So that's why we're learning together. Okay, so let's see, let me just, like I told you before, I like to, uh, guys, I'm gonna go tomorrow, Sunday, it's gonna be uh, September 19th at 12 noon, Pacific Standard Time, don't forget my live stream, guys, and we're gonna, I'm gonna be talking about this, you know, I'm gonna be talking about 1617, I'm gonna be talking about uh, the different candles that I'm uh, are doing a, a red week, a red weekend and retesting, because I noticed that the candles, as they, as they go down, lower on, uh, on the vessel, you know, uh, the lower the wax level goes down, you have to re you have to see whether or not uh, the wick is still working now because sometimes it's too it's too hot. So you know, it's it's something that it must be done on on every candle that you create. And I'm still waiting for my trademark guy. That's I haven't worked on on my labels yet or anything. You know, I'm just I'm just taking care of myself. I'm taking care of, you know my body and my mentally and physically. You know, and then. Uh, I'm just waiting for inspiration to come. Okay, now this wax, remember it likes to be hot. Okay, 208, I want it to be 230. Why, because I have a lot of oil and that oil, that, all that oil is gonna really uh, bring the temperature down a lot. So I, I wanna be very hot. So when I bring the, put the oil into the, okay, it's 239, perfect. Don't be afraid guys, if you go above two, uh, 30 okay just it's fine okay and again let me just check how much wax do I need I need 11 point, point seven. okay so I'm gonna tear seven. perfect okay temperature to 27 I'm dumping the oil in Guys, don't be afraid. This oil is not gonna evaporate. You know, don't don't believe on that, okay? Start mixing. 15 seconds. 15 to 20 seconds, guys. This is the only time, the only chance that you're gonna have to uh, bend, uh, blend the wax and the oil together. So, okay, let me check the temperature now. Toy, perfect. Okay, come to pour. Okay, let me go clean up and we're right back. Okay guys, we're back. So this is a beautiful candle that I just made using Calle 23. This is my favorite fragrance oil from 1617.com. Actually, I, I like them all, but this is my uh, the one that I prefer the most for, for my candle line. I think it's gonna be like very uh, romantic, very... Uh, so perfect for also for any any time of the year, you know, you don't have to be uh, waiting for uh, St. Valentine's or anything. This can be a candle for the whole year. That's what my that's what I want to make my candle line, guys. I want to make my candle line that you can just enjoy all year round, you know. So this is the, the beautiful candle, guys. This is the the Evermore glass vessel from 1617.com. This wax. Let me see just show you the the inside before it coagulates. So you can see the double waking in there. Can you see guys? Okay. So it's gonna be a beautiful candle. I cannot wait to show you guys tomorrow. Uh, what I'll do tomorrow is I'll light it up to see how it, how it burns, you know? Uh, even though I'm supposed to cure it for two weeks, but you know, I'm just, I just wanna show you, show you this tomorrow. Okay guys, so don't forget to, to, uh, to tune in tomorrow to my candle romance. 
at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Uh, then I'm going to be showing my live stream. If you guys have any questions, you know, uh, please uh, get them ready for me tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, take care. Bye. Yeah! Thank you.